so long. You're just going to give these three questions that are on the screen a try while we wait for the rest of um, the students to join the lesson. Thank you to those of you who have your camera on, those of you who haven't yet, can you try and give it a go for me? Hi, Kamba. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Kamba, have you got a piece of paper and a pen to start these questions? Beautiful. Hi, everybody. It's great to see you all back. Ms. G, I think we're going to give it one more minute and then I think we should get going. Sure. Do you want to start sharing your screen with the. Or do you yeah. want to wait a bit? I think let's give it 30 more seconds. Let's see. And then um, we can get going. I also want to see if everyone can get these questions right. Yeah. Nawazi, are you finding these questions easy or difficult or somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. Okay. So should if I if I ask you to answer one today, do you want me to give you a nice one? Yes. Okay, right, everybody. Um, I want you to find the chat button. Um, can you all see the chat button? Have you found it? And if you are on your chat button, you should see some emojis. So I want you all to wave. Can you all wave? Hi. <laughs> nice job, guys. Good job. Okay. And well, I think that might have been the high five. Maybe this one is the the wave. This one here, the blue one. <laughs> wave. <laughs> Great. And um, how are we all feeling today? I feel pretty good. How are you feeling? <laughs> Show me if you're feeling a thumbs up. Excellent. Great, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using these emojis today. They're quite cool, I think. Um, to also like, communicate with Ms. G and myself about how you're finding the lesson and um, if you're understanding or if there's something you're wondering about. So maybe we can use this one for mm, not so sure about that. And um, we can maybe use the party one for if it really makes sense and you really get it and you're having an aha moment then you can use that one okay so i want you to really use the chat today to also type your answers so if um miss g is asking you a question then try and type your answer that you're working out in the chat and then um we can also see how you're doing all right and then we know where to jump in to explain something again or to help you to better understand right <laughs> okay now um i'm just going to share my screen quickly hopefully it comes up Okay, so we are, um, I hope you can see that. We are, remember this is six lessons. 
um, that we are doing on fact rising. We did the first one on the 1st of June, that was Tuesday, and now we are on the 3rd of June, and this is our second lesson. We are gonna go back a bit and relook what you did um, in the first lesson, and then we're gonna look at how to take out a common bracket as a common factor. Okay, and in our next lesson, we're going to talk about difference of squares. So you still have, so this is the second lesson, so there's still, after this one, four more. So we hope you will all be there when they happen. Right, so I'm going to hand over to Ms. G. Have fun, guys, and please t uh, keep typing in the chat and use those emojis to communicate with us and tell us how you're doing. Right, over to you, Ms. G. All right, guys, remember, I like hearing your voices. I want to get to know you better. I already now know that you wouldn't share your toothbrush, even if it's with someone you love, which I'm shocked about, but I'm recovering from that slowly. Um, so what I want you to just sort of get really comfortable with is unmuting yourself and asking a question whenever you need and jumping in. And I love it when you answer questions. I never am upset if they are wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm turning my camera off because I'm going to flip my screen, but I want you to try and keep yours on um, because I can still see your faces. Okay. All right. How did these questions go? Were they, were they okay? You can sort of do emojis or you can shake your head or you can nod if they were good, if they were not so great. How did they go so far? <laughs> do you want to try? Yeah, there we go. So thumbs up, a thumbs down. Okay. That's Okay. And some thumbs up. Okay. Um, also another thumbs down. Nakubongo, what was happening with them? What are you struggling with in the question? Um, hi, ma'am. Hi. Really I'm really struggling with the whole equation. Like, okay. it's really hard. It's just not coming together. Yeah. Okay. And Kamva, I also saw a um, sort of thumbs down. What's happening on your side? It's the same thing. I'm struggling with the whole equation. Okay. All right. So I think for these three, I'm actually, I'm going to talk you through them and we're just going to go through them nice and slowly. Um, and I might actually let Jaden answer one of them because I know that they're quite comfortable with these questions. So we'll get back to that now. Now. Okay. So I'm just going to, let's get going. Okay. So let's have a look. All right, let's have a look at this first one. So whenever we're taking out a highest common factor, what we're looking for is we're looking for a number and letters that can go into both of our terms. So I'm trying to find something that can go into both of those. Now, my second term, there's no A. So I know I definitely can't take out an A as a highest common factor. And I know two goes into both of those, but I also think, well, is there something higher that I could take out? And I could take out a four. So we're looking for the highest common factor of those two terms. Now, if I take out a four, I'm saying, what would I need to multiply four by? So I don't know what this is to get four A. And to multi if I had an A there, then I would get my four A. And for the second part, I'm saying, what would I need to multiply four by to get eight? And that's gonna be a two. So when we check it, if we were going backwards, we'd say, well, four times A is four A, four times two is eight. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be a little bit nasty and I'm gonna pick on the people who are struggling. Okay, don't feel sad. I'm gonna first start with Nawazi. And Nawazi, all I want you to do is I want you to look at these numbers and I want you to tell me a number that can go into all three of those numbers. Ma'am, please repeat the question. Absolutely. Okay, in these three terms, all I'm wanting you to do, the three green boxes that I have sort of highlighted, can you tell me a number that can go into all three of those numbers? So like if I had three and six, I could say, well, three goes into both of those numbers. Is there a number that you can Maybe. see? 
that can go into all three of those. Now is it two? Yes, it is two. Well done. Nice job. Okay, so we can take out two as the highest common factor. And Canva, I'm going to pick on you now. But remember, picking is, is actually a good thing because it means that it's helping us. We're looking at this x, and then we've got an x squared, and we've got an x cubed. What can definitely go into all three of those x's? So we've got an x, an x squared, and an x cubed. Cumber, do you think you can tell me? Have I lost you, Kamba? <laughs> uh, let's try with CM Tanda. Can you help me? What what can go into all of those X's? Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. So. If I want to know what can go into all three of those, I'm always going to take the smallest one that can fit. So I know that x can go into all of them. x cubed can't fit in here. x cubed can't fit in there. And so we need to take the smallest one of my three letters. And then we're going to look at what we would be left with in this bracket. So 2x times what would give me 2x, and it would be 1. And then I'm saying... 2x times what? Yeah. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Someone joined us? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hi. Were you asking a question? No? Okay. So I would then say, well, 2x times 2x would give me 4x squared. And now I'm looking at what this would be. And I would say, well, that's going to be negative 3x squared. Because when I multiply those two together, I'm going to get my negative 6x cubed. OK, and we're going to close that bracket off. I know that these seem a little bit nasty, guys. Don't panic. OK, we're just going to do this step by step. I might give you another one before we move on to common brackets. But Jaden, this one is your turn to shine. Do you think you can talk us through question three? Yes, ma'am. OK, what am I going to take out as my highest common factor? Um, ma'am, I took out 3xy. 3xy, glorious. Now let's just talk about why, because if I have my numbers, I've got 3, 12, and 9, and the number that can go into all of those is 3, and then the smallest x I have is an x, and the smallest y I have is a y. Okay, great. Tell me what's going to be inside my bracket. Um, xy squared minus well done. 4x yeah. plus 3y. That's great. Awesome. Nice job. Okay. Um, can we get an idea with emojis? Can you give me a like confused face, a thumbs up or thumbs down? How are we feeling with these three questions at this point? Don't feel sad if you're giving me a thumbs down. I won't ever be upset with you. Okay. Okay. Nakubonga, you've given me a thumbs up now. That's exciting. That's the thumb that has changed direction. Okay, so let's, I'm, I'm going to make this question just for you now because I'm so excited by that thumb change. <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, so this is just for Nakubonga, but I would like everyone to also give it a try. And if, you, if you're feeling comfortable, you can try and write your answer in the um, chat. Okay, so ooh, let's make it a little bit different. Let's say 7ab minus 14a plus 21b. Okay, so Nakubonga, when you are ready, 
you can give me your answer. There's no time pressure. Okay, work through it. And then when you feel confident, give me your answer. some Pee -wee. Nogobongo, your, your face is telling me that you are feeling almost ready. Do you feel like we can start talking through this question? Welcome to those who are joining. We're just working through some questions that we started in our lesson on Tuesday before we move on today. So as you're joining, try and give these questions that are on the screen a try. Ms. G, we've got an answer in the chat from uh, Nokabunga. I see, okay. And Tristan's okay. also given her answer. Thanks, Tristan. Guys, okay. let's see your answers. So, Nakubonga, I'm so proud of you for trying. That's really great. There's a couple of things that we're going to chat about over here. This is something that lots of people do, so don't stress. If I have three terms over here, when I do my highest common factor, I must always have three terms in my bracket. So it's like a nice way for us to check that we're making sort of the right choices. Don't stress if it's sort of feeling a bit stressful. So let's have a look at this. We're looking for a number that can go into the seven, the 14 and the 21. And Nakubongo, you found the seven, which was great. That's awesome. Okay, and I'm seeing from Tristan and well, this person doesn't have a name, but I'm seeing a seven as well. And those are all really, really good. Okay, so our highest common factor is definitely going to be a seven. Now, I can't take out a b because although there's an a here and there's an a here, there's no a there. So it's not common in all three of my terms. And I have a b here and I have a b there, but I don't have a b in the middle. So I can't take it out. So the only highest common factor I can take out is a 7. And then I would think, well, what do I have to time 7 by to get 7ab? I need to multiply it by AB. Then I need to multiply 7 by negative 2A and then by 3B. Okay, and remember with factorization, we can always check our answers. So when we multiply them in, 7 times AB gives me 7AB. 7 times negative 2A gives me negative 14A. And 7 times 3B gives me 21B. Okay. So well done to those who are getting it right. Don't stress if you got it wrong. That is the whole process of maths. And honestly, when you get something wrong, it means that your brain is growing. So it's a good thing. So yay. Yay for brain growth. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at some different questions. How are we feeling with this? Can you give me an emoji? Are we feeling happy? Beautiful. Nice job, guys. Good. Okay, so we're going to take this concept into something similar. 
And we're going to bring in something called a highest common bracket. So we've been dealing with the highest common factor, and now we're dealing with the highest common bracket. I don't think we'll get to the switcheroo today, but that's fine. We can get to the switcheroo in our next lesson. So in example one, this question should feel really sort of doable for lots of you. Can I get a volunteer to give me my answer if I asked you to factorize AB plus 2A? No, Wazi, I can see that little face is desperate to give me an answer. Can you tell me what I could take out? I think B. So, okay, let's have a look. Is there a B? There's definitely a B here. Is there a B in our second term? No. Okay, so then it can't be common in both. What do you see that's in this term and is in that term? A. Good. Okay, so A is our highest common factor. So we're going to take A out. Can you help me and then think, what would I have to multiply A by to get AB? If you have an answer, guys, just type it in the chat. I can see um, Tepiso, well done. some people shouting out answers, so just put it in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Also, guys, if you want to shout out, I'm happy with that. You can definitely shout out. Just unmute yourself and shout it out loud. I'm happy with those answers. Okay, so I'm seeing a B. That's great. And don't feel like embarrassed to unmute yourself. And if like five of you give me an answer at the same time, that's also fine. Okay, what do I have to multiply A by if I want to get 2A? What would I need to do there? I think you have to multiply a to a times a okay. a times a that's so let's try that if i say a times a i'm gonna land up getting a squared so okay. it's close but the two is in the wrong place for us what could i multiply that a by to get two a no why is he no good news Oh, yes, yeah, someone was answering me. Sorry. I might think it's two. It is two. Nice job. Okay. So we want to multiply that by two, and then we would get our 2A. Okay. Um, I actually think we're not actually – let's actually not jump into – because I just looked at the time, and it is already 5.27, and I'm a little bit shook. Um, so I'm going to give you just, guys, one more question like this, and I want every single person um, to give it a try. You can either write your answers in the chat or you can sort of talk to me about what your answer will be. Um, and so let me just get there quickly. We're going to have to – we'll do this in our next lesson. Don't panic. Okay. Remember the thing with maths is it's all about um, – it's all about building blocks. So if you don't understand the beginning things and everything falls apart as we move up. So it's always better to spend more time on these beginning things and then we can change as we, we can go a little bit faster as we move up. Okay, so I want all of you to just give that a try for me. I know it's quite a nasty one. There's lots of exponents involved in this question. But I want everyone to try and give this a try. There's some sneaky things involved. To be so, is the screen um, still black for you? Is it okay now? Okay.
Okay, so it depends on what we're doing. If we, like, let's have a look at this. I'm going to write something different here. Sorry, I'm just answering the question about the exponents in the box. So for those of you who didn't see, the question said, um, do we minus or add the exponents? So it depends. If I have x squared y, and then I said plus y x cubed, when I take out my highest common factor of x, y, I want to get x squared. So in that case, I would be adding them because x times x would give me my x squared. But if we're dividing, then we're minusing. So it depends on how you are sort of working it out. I think I have the answer. <gasps> Yay! Can you talk us through? Um, I got xy open bracket 2x to the power of 2 and y minus 6xy minus 3y square. So close! The only difference is that you have a y there and do we want to have that y over there? Oh, no. Yeah, that was the only mistake, though. That was really good. That was awesome. Nice job. That was a really tough question. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Um, how, how, have we, how have the rest found this one? Did we find it okay, or was it like a bit of a disaster? <laughs> so, okay. So we've still got some thumbs down, and that's okay. It's okay. All right. Shame. <laughs> Don't look stressed. It's okay to have thumbs down at this point. Okay, so I think what we're going to need to do is those exercises, those of you who were struggling, did you do the exercises that were on the Watobi app during the week or yesterday? Did you get a chance to do any of them? I'm just going to go back up to those questions. Um, they were these guys. I think what I recommend is any of you who still have a thumbs down, I really think give these ones a try, give them a work, like give them some time on the app and work through them. The best way to get better with maths is through practice. Okay, so give these ones a try because we, we won't be able to move on to our highest common factors if this is still not really going great. Ms. G, I can also just quickly show them how to find these on the app. Um, that would I be great. I prepared some screenshots for them. So yeah, I'm going to mute myself while you guys listen, but um, I'm really proud of you who tried. Well done. And it doesn't matter if you get it wrong. That's all part of the journey. Okay. Those of you who got it right, that's awesome and well done. Just keep going. Keep trying. Keep showing up to these lessons. Yeah. Okay. So um, when you are on the app and you go to topics, you pick this topic, algebraic expressions. And then you have to scroll all the way down to factorizing. And then I think you should I don't focus. I think your screen is sharing, just as a warning. Is it not sharing? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Here we go. Can we see that now? Okay, there we go. Okay, so on the app, like I said, you go to topics and you choose this topic, algebraic expressions. And then you scroll all the way down to factorizing and you will see the first, um, the first four lessons. And then there's also a quiz on factorized expressions that involve common factors. So if you do those first three lessons and the quiz, I think you will get some good practice in. And um, I think this will start to make a bit more sense. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up from those who are going to go on the app and practice? Do you guys all just mind doing me a favor? Um, I don't want you to feel bad about it. In the chat, can you just give me a number from zero to 10? Zero means I really don't understand what's going on. And 10 means I fully understand and I'm feeling very comfortable. Can you just give me that number in the chat? And that's just so that I know where we're going when we move forward, okay? That would be awesome. Thank you. Oh, nine and a half. Okay, seven. Cool. And don't worry, if your numbers are zero, that's also fine. Okay, so some in the middle. 
So I'm feeling good. <laughs> Minus a hundred. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Just keep them coming in, guys. It just helps me when we know for moving forward. Um, Marilise, is there anything else that they are needing to do? No, I think that's it. I think we need a few more um, scores, though. I don't think this is everybody. Please put your number down. Last chance. Okay. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Tuesday, but you've got like a whole couple of days and some weekend days to work on these questions that are on the app. So try and put in your best effort and then we'll move again. We'll move forward on Tuesday and we can move to some sort of more interesting, fun questions. Okay. Great. And again, well done for coming back and for joining us today. And yes, go practice on the app. All right. Nice job, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you Tuesday. Have a good evening, everyone.